To motion track text, videos and pictures in After Effects, you want to go up to Window and then you want to go down to the Tracker. You want to make sure you've got yourself the Tracker panel open. Once you've got yourself the Tracker, make sure you are selecting your video in order to have the options available to motion track this video. Once you've got yourself the panel open, you want to click on Track Motion. And what this will do is it will bring you to this window right here. Now, if you've never used the tracking in After Effects, it's really simple. You can use your scroll wheel to scroll up to zoom in and scroll back down to zoom out. In After Effects, you will have yourself a track point one. And all you have to do is find a location on your video. So for the example of this video, I'm going to use the right eye as a tracking point. So you just want to simply left click on the middle box move this one over to the right eye or the tracking location. And we're just going to slightly move this one a little bit more further down. The outer square is mostly a reference. So this is what guides the middle one, which is with the one that does the tracking. So you just want to expand this one a little bit more than normal to give it a reference. And then you want to expand the inner square as well to make sure that you have a decent area for it to track. Once you've done that and you're ready to start tracking this, you want to go over to the right side and you'll see a analyze forward. Once you're ready, you can then left click on this one and this will start tracking that motion. Now, as you can see, we can pause it anytime we want and that is when it goes off tracking. So once the line was blinking, you can see it went off track. But that's completely fine because we can easily correct this just by simply going back right up to here where it starts to lose track. So I would say right about here and we can reposition this in a more accurate location. So all you have to do from here is once again press the analyze forward and this will just replace the other keyframes which didn't look so great. So once again, we're just going to move it right up to here. And then we're going to continue on tracking forward. So yeah, pretty much the main goal is to keep an eye on it, see if there's any areas which it doesn't really look accurate, and then just correct it. That's basically all you have to do for the tracking. So as you can see, this bit's okay. it completely lost the track of that one. So like I said before, this is the only downside to this is that if you've got yourself any motion blur or if your video becomes more blurry, then you won't really be able to track it correctly. So you're probably wondering what can we do to fix this? Well, that's really simple. We can once again, go back to the area where it doesn't track very well. And instead of just going forward with this one, we can go forward a single frame. So as you can see, this just gives us the ability to correct it, go forward, correct it, and then just continue on correcting yourself the mistakes which it creates. And there we go. So once it goes outside of the box, it will lose tracking, but that's completely fine because we can stop it right about there. All you have to do now is go ahead and just have a look at your video, see if you're happy with the tracking. And as you can see, it looks really good. So once you're happy with the tracking and you're ready to add yourself the text video or pictures, you want to right click in the empty area, go to new, and get yourself a null object. With this null object, we're going to move this one underneath the video and you want to go to edit target. You want to select yourself the null layer, which was the one that we created. Go ahead and click on OK and you want to go on apply. In here, this will give us the options for the X and Y, the X only and the Y only. So if you're only looking to track it horizontally or vertically, then you can select yourself the Y or the X, but we want to track both the X and the Y. So make sure you're selecting this one. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on okay. 
And what this will do is it will apply the tracking onto the null object. And as you can see, this is in this location right here. So from here, what we can do is we can simply get ourselves the text tool. We can right click, drag this out, and we can type in any text that we want. So let's just say, drag the corners in, go to the first tool, and you want to press Control, Alt, and Home. And this will just center align the anchor point. So then you just want to position where you want your text to be. So let's say we want it right about here. We're also going to press the R key just to give it a slight rotation. And we're going to keep it right about here. You can then minimize this and to apply this onto the text, all you gotta do is get yourself the pick width and move this down to the null one. And what this will do is it will apply the tracking onto the actual text. So as you can see, it stays on that specific location. You can do the same thing for videos or pictures. So for the, let's say we're gonna get ourselves a picture. We're gonna drag this one above the video. We're just going to scale this down to something like, let's say 20. And we're just going to reposition this onto here. Once again, get yourself the pick whip, drag this down to the null one. And as you can see, this will stay in that location. Same thing for videos. Let's say you wanted to add yourself a video. You would just simply get yourself the video. We're just going to set this one to a add. And let's just go a little bit further down so we can see it. So this one, we're just going to press S for scale. Scale this down a little bit more. And we're just going to move this one right above here. Same as last time, once again, get yourself the pick whip, drag this down to the null one, and there we go, you've got yourself the tracking complete. As you can see, the video, the text, and the picture stays in that location. And that is pretty much it. That's how you motion track in After Effects 2D text, videos, or pictures. And as always, I will see you all in the next one. Bye.